Hey guys, I figured it's been a while since I've done a video and I haven't done a toy review like in so long. So, because the last review I've done is more of a bobblehead, not necessarily an action figure. So, yeah, I decided uh, let's do a review of the Marvel Legends series She Hulk, Marvel She Hulk figure. I assume it's a fan channel exclusive, meaning that. It's online, I guess. Something like that. Even though I bought this at GameStop, so there's that. Uh, I paid 27 bucks because it's $24.99 plus tax, it's $27. So, which is crazy considering the fact that the prices have been raised for this figure and all it comes with is a pair of hands and an alternate head. No build a figure or anything. So I don't understand the price raise and considering it's exclusive which I don't understand what's so exclusive about this considering it's a repaint just with this added head and yeah I'm not an avid collector like I used to be I've been really picky on what I get now so this one caught my eye I just love the colors I love the paint and I love the design I was tempted to pick up the previous one the gray she-hulk which is the fantastic four wave the dan slot wave you know when the fantastic four had the inverted black and blue outfits but um this one i i'm glad i held off on that and picked up this one which she's a great figure i love it you know and we'll just go over the size comparison or the scale considering a lot of collectors really care about that kind of thing so here's a Hasbro Overwatch Ultimate Zarya figure, which is still one of my favorite Hasbro figures of all time. We also have the McFarlane um, Death Metal Wonder Woman figure, which oh, right here. And this one's $25.99 as well, but it's just uh, it has uh, just way more detail, way more paint. Um, it has a figure stand, it has uh, her weapon, her chainsaw as an accessory and a file card and a build a figure too. The, the cloth cape, I, I modified that so that doesn't count but still I feel like you get more with the McFarlane DC Multiverse uh, you know, figures considering they're figures that don't come with the build a figure they're $20 and the ones that do come with the build a figure they're $24.99 so yeah I don't understand the the price for this one $24.99 rather than the $19.99 like I don't understand that it's just bizarre to me but that's Hasbro for you good thing I don't collect as much as I used to but <laughs> but yeah so there's your scale right here let's just add one more uh, I do have the Marvel Legends Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man figure with the uh, custom Andrew Garfield head so which I got on eBay and there you go that gives your sense of scale which right here so yeah there's the scale and I like I said I love the figure I thought the figure looks awesome it looks amazing and I'm going to assume this particular design is based on a modern comic which I don't read modern comics I'm more of an old-school comic guy and if you look at my past uh, collection comic collection um, it shows but yeah um, I love the character of She-Hulk Jennifer Walters and yeah and I really love this design I just love the green paint the green paint stands out I like the white you know torn t-shirt but the pants on the other hand I it's black you know it's a shiny looking black which I kind of wish it was more of a blue or purple but whatever this comics based on I'm sure it's accurate but my personal preference I would prefer something along the lines of a regular colored jean pants or a purple but that's just me like I said I'm sure it's accurate to the comic it's based off of so yeah and then the head sculpt, I know a lot of reviewers have been saying that she probably looks like Megan Fox, which she kind of does, and I'm not complaining. But, yeah, um, everything else about her, she looks great. And there you go, it's a typical Marvel Legends figure with the raised price, <laughs> which, yeah, I'm not going to get over the price, I just don't understand that. But, 
Yeah. Oh man, she comes with two fists, a pair of grabbing hands, which can be used for anything. So if you have any 112th scale or 6 inch scale, I guess, phones or sodas or anything, steel beams, I guess, pipes, maybe, those are useful. Or she can grab another character if you do toy photography. So there's that. And she has an angry um, head, which came with the previous Grey She-Hulk figure. And as you guys can see, I used Green Sharpie to color her eyes because I never understood why they were yellow. And considering on the packaging, on the box art, her eyes are green. So yeah, I, I don't understand that, but I guess it is what it is, I guess, but yeah. And for the articulation of this figure, uh, the head moves down pretty well. And it doesn't move up that much due to the hair, but you can like just work it. Uh, arm goes up that far, which, which is pretty good. And obviously it rotates, bicep swivel, and it has the hinge with the swivel which to me is kind of useless considering you already have the bicep swivel, but at least the elbow bends more than 90 degrees, which that's pretty good. And then a hinge wrist with rotation. And then let's take a look at our torso, which look at that six pack. <laughs> but yeah, her torso, she moves back quite a bit. And then forward. All right, I guess, kind of. It's almost non-existent, but it's whatever. Uh, her legs move forward this much. And then she kind of does the splits like that. Uh, thigh cut or thigh swivel, which they do a good job hiding, which I like. Double jointed elbow. Or <laughs> double jointed knees, sorry. Um, and then uh, ankle articulation moves up and down with the pivot, the usual. Uh, no calf cut or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's none of that, but pretty much it's another Marvel Legends figure. Like, like I said before, I don't pick up a lot of Marvel Legends. I don't really consider that to be the greatest line ever, but this one just stood out to me. So I don't buy a lot of Marvel Legends. So... <laughs> This one really stood out and I love it a lot. So it looks great, it poses great, um, it's durable, which is good. Nothing too gummy, which that's like a thing in the past, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, would I recommend this? Yes, I would, at a lower price. At Even though $20 for a Marvel Legends, in my opinion, $19.99 is already expensive as it is, but this one is $24.99, which yeah, this is a no, a no-go with that price, but if you can't find it for any other price, do not pay more than $24.99 for this, but, but I recommend cheaper. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll go over the box. Typical Marvel Legends box, Marvel She-Hulk, Marvel Legends series. Uh, nice artwork right here, and she has green eyes. See? I don't understand why they made it yellow. And yeah like there it is and then there's the uh description i guess and that's pretty much it so there's my review it's been a while i haven't done a review in so long so bear with me but i'll see you guys whenever whenever i do the next video but yeah